Let's state a theorem called Rose's theorem. And unusually for this course, let's go ahead and prove it. Rose's theorem probably doesn't sound like much when you state it. Suppose we have a continuous function on a closed interval and it's differentiable everywhere on that same interval, except perhaps at the end points. You see this closed interval has become open. If f of a equals f of b, there is some number c in the open interval, such that f prime of c equals zero. And we can prove this, but let's just discuss it. We've got a continuous function and it starts and ends at the same y value then the function can do whatever it does, but it's continuous. It doesn't have any sharp corners. Maybe it looks like that. And the extreme value theorem says that this function has to have extreme values. You see it has both a maximum and a minimum. And these extreme values are also points where the derivative is zero. So in this particular case, we have two values of C where the derivative is zero. We might only have one if the function looked like that. For example, there's this single value of C where the derivative is zero. But Rowe's theorem says there has to be at least one such point. And if you look at this, you see these points where the derivative is zero are extreme values. And that's basically the proof of Rowe's theorem. A continuous function has extreme values, an absolute max and an absolute min. Now, if either of these extreme values occurs in this interval, we are done because the extreme value is a critical value. At critical values, the derivative either is zero or does not exist. But the derivative always exists in this case. So at the extreme value, the derivative is zero. And that's precisely what we're looking for, a value where the derivative is zero. The only other possible case is if the extreme values occur at the end points. But remember that the function has the same value at these endpoints. 
So if one of the end point is the minimum and the other is the maximum and these values are the same, what's this function doing? It can't go up because then it would be above the maximum. It can't go down because then it would be below the minimum. In this case, the function has to be constant. And the derivative of a constant function is zero. So the derivative is zero everywhere in here. And we have once again accomplished our goal of finding a value where the derivative is zero. Usually, if a theorem has a name, like the extreme value theorem or Rolle's theorem, that usually means the theorem is important. I can't hand on heart say that's true here. We'll use Rolle's theorem as part of a proof, but other than that, we won't refer to it again in this course.